Hello YouTube land, this is Stevie the Scotsman. I'm making a video on GM fuel and disconnect lines only because I'm sure when people do this for the first time they're like it can be a kind of a pain in the butt and it can set you a little ways back. If this video helps one people, one person, then I'm a happy bunny. Okay, so this is down at the um fuel pump module. So what I ended up doing, I just pretty much just like pulled off the plastic um and just broke it off, you know what I mean, rather than going in there and messing around. So there's three lines on here. There's a vapor, fuel input and fuel return. So this one is the vapor line and I just want to confirm like you just pretty much squeeze there, right in there up both sides. And by squeezing here you can then just pull that piece of plastic. Okay? That's the vapor line. Alright, these input and output return lines are a little bit different. You can see at the moment there is no plastic in here and I'm just going to show you what's going on. So the 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 plastic people will use the term ear and just slip into here. Okay when we when we put the plastic on. So let me just show you. Oh. Alright, sorry about the mad camera action. So, the little open black plastic piece sits right in here. Right there. So you can see, when I put it on, these will fit in here. The only one up against is, um, you need to get the white piece of plastic disconnected okay so what you can do is you can see that if it's still on the existing pipe you get a pair of pliers right at the end and squeeze this you should be able to pull that plastic pipe off of there and you see this is right at the end okay there may be a situation well, this is actually stuck on the white plastic. So what you do in this case is just squeeze, once again, squeeze the end. And what I'll do is, either side, just take a couple of picks and a couple of screwdrivers and then you're just going to leverage this little thing here and then just lift it towards you. Really as I said when you squeeze this it will lift it up a little bit so by using the pick you're just lifting it up and over there's a couple of ways that you might end up having to get these things off so you know, it's one of those videos where it's like really worth, worth making because most people who've done it once will be like yeah Stevie that's easy but if you're in there for the first time man it can be a real pain in the butt and you can see this is the fuel filter that obviously I'm going to replace same idea you know this comes with the existing fuel filter this will go on to the actual black ears, the, the actual black hole that I showed you earlier. So hey, this is a quick and dirty video, and I know there's, you know what, it's interesting when you look on YouTube, people are like, yeah, just disconnect this, but it's like, I'm sure people are like, really? What if I'm in this situation, you're just pulling things apart, I'm not really sure what's going on, so hey, if it's helped you, I'm really pleased. Because I know when I first done this, it's like, it's a kind of pain in the butt just trying to figure this stuff out and I wish someone had just posted a video and just stated out the obvious to me but hey like I said I'm here just to help people so I hope this has helped you alright this is Stevie the Scotsman signing off all the best cheers